Music. That slow, soothing symphony of the piano, or a slow jam that happens to be one of the best things to happen to humanity. Music does a lot to humans. It elevates the mood, lowers stress level, stimulates memories, manages pain, etc. It happens that humans are not the only one who have something positive to say about music. It was recently discovered that cows appreciate these slow jams and serenading sounds, and in turn, they produce more milk as a show of appreciation. Like it does to humans, it has a calming effect on cows and can help them produce more milk. So because farmers want to milk these cows, pun intended, they fill their barns with great sound systems to get the most dairy product out of them. But is this even a thing? Let's find out in the video. Welcome back everyone to Blazing Zone, where we discuss intriguing and interesting facts about animals. But before we proceed, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the red subscribe button to help us reach a good number of subscribers. Remember to click the notification bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. If you're still dazed by the fact that cows also want to get into a steady groove, snap out of it. This is not the first instance of music having positive effects on animals. However, as the research suggests, cows are more likely to produce milk when they listen to slow classical music from musicians like Beethoven. They don't do so well with fast-paced music and could as well be better without listening to it. A research titled Music Study was performed by psychologists at the University of Leicester who played music of different tempos to herds of Frasian cattle. Beethoven's Pastoral Symphony and Simon and Garfunkel's Bridge Over Troubled Water was a big hit in the milking shed. But when rowdy numbers like Mud's Tiger Feet and Size of a Cow by Wonder Stuff were played, there was no increase in milk yield. So it is generally believed that calm music can improve milk yield essentially because it reduces stress. In another study carried out at LCAH Dairies in Lincolnshire and Bishop Burton Agricultural College in Humberside, 1,000 song herds of Frisian cattle were exposed to fast, slow, and no music for 12 hours a day, from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. over the course of nine weeks. The researchers found that each cow's milk yield rose by 3%, which was equivalent to about 0.73 liters or 1.54 pints a day when slow music, rather than fast music, was played. However, this is built on the basis of existing knowledge on cow personalities such as behavioral responses, temperament, or stress level in relation to milk production. Farmers generally know that cows produce less milk when they are stressed. Cows have a milk letdown response the same as humans. A tense cow is like a tense human mother. The response to letdown milk is inhibited, and the milk is held back, or some of it. So they let down more milk when they are more relaxed. Hence why dairy farmers ensure the cows are treated well and not upset, as an upset cow usually takes several hours before calmness. Cows have a heightened sense of sight, smell, and hearing. Their sense of smell is better than humans, and it's believed that they can smell other animals from several kilometers away. They can smell the urine of other cows, and if a cow is afraid, it shows in the urine, and other cows are able to detect it. They also use smell to recognize other cows in the herd, and they use their sense of smell to recognize you. Cows could see more widely than people, with a 330-degree vision. A cow had 30 degrees at the back, which she could not see. In contrast, people can see 170 degrees. They also have an acute sense of hearing that, in some cases, if a cow can't hear you, it's almost like it's wearing a blindfold. If an animal can process that much information from its environment, its likelihood of being stressed is multiplied. Playing music is like numbing the cow to sense their environment and pick cues that could stress them. Domesticated cows originated from species that were prey animals, and no amount of evolution can take that away. They still possess the basic instincts of being a hunted animal, so they are constantly cautious of their environment. Several kinds of research have been made on this discourse, and it is a thing practiced by a few cattle farmers nowadays. 
Farmers have observed how music could impact the mood and improve milk production. The results seem little, but farmers have not taken them lightly. They began installing high-priced music systems in the barn to keep their cows soothed and relaxed. In 2012, more than 1,000 entries were received in a song contest judged by cows that allowed people to create their own musical mashup. Finalists were narrowed down by voting, and the winner was chosen by the cows themselves based on the amount of milk produced while the songs were played. Music therapy is a long-standing concept for animals, and it has proven to help humans better care for animals. It is possible to make species-specific music to soothe animals and help them relax. For example, cats don't care about human music, but scientists are able to create music that they enjoy. Music developed for cats contains frequencies and tempos that are similar to the way cats communicate. As derived from National Geographic, Snowden and Savage went to 47 households with cats and played the music, including two classical songs and two songs developed for felines. When the researchers played the latter, the cat was more likely to move towards the speaker or even rub up against it, according to their study, which was published in the journal Applied Animal Behavior Science earlier this year. Interestingly, young and old cats reacted to the cat songs the most positively. Middle-aged cats showed more indifference. It's also possible to create music for monkeys. They created tunes in 2009 that matched the pitch of monkey cries. The scientists used tamarind monkeys to conduct their research, which was published in the journal Biology Letters. The monkeys relaxed while listening to music inspired by the animals' calming cries, and they even ate more while doing so. The monkeys were agitated when the researchers played music with noises that were comparable to those made by monkeys when they expressed fear. The monkeys were mainly unconcerned by human music, and their behavior didn't alter much whether Nine Inch Nails, Tool, or Samuel Barber were playing. However, they became calm when they heard Metallica's Of Wolf and Man. Birds react to music much more like humans and have a long-standing history of being great singers. Birds are unquestionably the most well-known animal singers. Emory University researchers set out a few years ago to see if birds make music in the same way that humans do. They studied the brains of both male and female white-tailed sparrows while listening to male bird noises to find out. The amygdala in our brains lights up when we listen to music. Female white-tailed sparrows, it turns out, exhibited comparable brain reactions to bird noises. While listening to the male's music, the area of their brain that is akin to the amygdala lit up. The brain reactions of the male birds, on the other hand, were comparable to those of people who listen to music they don't enjoy. It was discovered that the same brain reward system is engaged in female birds in the breeding state who are listening to male singing and in individuals listening to music that they like. So cows reacting to music by producing more milk is not so strange, and I hope you know that now. That would be all in this video. If you enjoy my content and would like to see more videos like this, kindly hit the like button as it motivates me to produce more video content. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and remember to click the notification bell to get notified whenever I drop a new video. Bye for now, see you in the next video.